This is a patient, uh, 80 years old, gentleman with abdominal pain, jaundice, and anemia, and they're looking for a cause of all this. So we got a CAT scan with intravenous contrast. And as we scroll through, you can see immediately that uh, there's an abnormality involved in the pancreas. Really a focal mass at the tail of the pancreas that looks solid. Um, upstream from it, you can see that the duct is slightly dilated, and there's some uh, atrophy of the surrounding parenchyma. As we scroll through the remainder of the pancreas, you can see the pancreas appears relatively uh, unremarkable, but certainly in the um, tail there's a very focal mass. And if you look closely at the case, you can also see that the adjacent splenic vein is thrombosed. You can see thrombus that's within it, and it's extending to really the portosplenic confluence. And as a result, you can see this big collateral that's sort of sweeping around the um, uh, uh, stomach over there arising from uh, sort of the proximal aspect of the splenic vein as a means to return blood circulation back to the superior mesenteric vein. Now whenever we see a pancreatic adenocarcinoma it's always good to look for uh, evidence for metastatic disease. Adenocarcinomas of the pancreas tend to go to the liver. The liver in this case looks pretty clean. The other place it tends to go is the omentum. And so you've got to look for carcinomatosis and if you look carefully at the omentum in this case you can see over here, just deep to the rectus muscles, there's uh, an implant um, compatible with carcinomatosis. And as you go lower down, you can see that there is some nodularity of the peritoneal lining over here, all of which is compatible with carcinomatosis.